Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics. In this video, we will learn how to measure current with the mm. Just identify these symbols on the dial, ma and a. Ma represents milliamperes AC or DC current for low current measurement. A represents amperes AC or DC current for high current measurement. Note that we must use these two ports for low and high current measurements along with common port. We must not use V port for current measurement. While holding the test probes, never let your fingers to touch the metal part of the test lead. It is highly advised to wear rubber shoes, gloves and PPE kit. Insert the black test probe in common socket. We will not use this port for current measurement. We must connect red test probe in 10 ampere socket or 400 MA socket. I advise you to connect 10 ampere socket first. Now turn the dial to MA or amps position. Here also I advise you to turn to amps position first. Meter turns on and AC ampere symbol appears on the screen. The maximum current rating a meter can handle is 10 amperes or 20 amperes. It is always written near the amp socket. Don't try to exceed the trade because over current will damage the fuses inside the meter that makes your meter useless for current measurement hence i advise you to use high current socket first and don't exceed the limit of that port just push shift button meter shifts into dc current measurement mode from ac current first we must check the correctness of the fuses inside dmm to do this turn the dial to any position other than the amps and milliamp symbol. The MM should display the words lead and must emit a beeping sound. If this thing happens, then we can confirm that fuses inside the DMM are okay. Otherwise, fuses are blown out. We cannot take measurement without replacing fuses. Now, look at this simple circuit. A lamp is connected to the battery through a switch and a resistor. If you want to measure current flowing through this circuit, unlike voltage measurement, we have to connect multimeter in series for current measurement. To connect multimeter in series, we have to create a break from one end of the circuit. So first switch off this circuit and create a break in this circuit. Connect red test probe to the break point which is clear to the battery's positive and black test probe to the other break point. If you observe over here, now the DMM is in series with this circuit. Switch on this circuit. Here meter display shows current measurement of this circuit. It is 0.2 amperes or 200 milliamperes of direct current. So 200 milliamperes reading is less than this 400 milliamperes level. So we will use milliamperes port and turn the dial to milliamperes position for accurate measurement of current flow. To change the settings of the meter, first we must switch off this circuit. Turn the dial to milliamperes position and change red test probe to 400 milliamperes port. First change the dial's position to milliamperes. On the display, we can see milliamperes AC symbol. But here we are measuring DC milliamperes. To change into DC milliamps, just push shift button. Meter change to DC milliamperes measurement mode. We can see the symbol on display. Next step, change the red probe to 400 milliamperes port. Here it is. Now switch on this circuit. Lamp lights up and the meter is measuring 
having 214 milliamps DC current flow in this circuit. If we reverse the test leads connections on break points of the circuit, the meter's display shows same measurement but with a minus symbol. The same procedure we must follow to measure AC current in AC powered circuit. Remember, we must put meter on AC amperes mode. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button. Help others to learn by sharing this video. Please subscribe and turn on notifications for more such videos. Have a nice day.